All right, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to hide a actor game object inside of Unreal Engine and make it spawn back into the world. It is super easy. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our content drawer by hitting control space, which is the hotkey. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to right click. We're going to be creating a brand new blueprint class. I'm going to click on this and then we're going to be creating a brand new actor. I'm going to name this a cube. Now, the next thing I want to do, I want to double click on cube in order to open up the actor. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the food blueprint editor right here. If you guys are getting that. If you don't, you're just going to be showing this screen. Now, what I want to do next, I'm going to click on add. And now I'm going to be typing in mesh. And I'm basically going to be adding in a cube mesh. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be typing in box collision. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag up in order to make this box collision a lot bigger. You guys need to do this. If you don't, you will run into issues with trying to do this. And then once I do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the cube on top of the box collision. Now, I'm going to be going over to my collision settings over here and what i need to click is i need to click simulate generate hips on event overlap and i'm going to also do this for the cube as well just in case this doesn't break anything so once i do that the next thing i'm going to do i'm actually going to be pulling up my content browser as well we're going to be going over to our third person character now we're going to double click on third person character now the next thing we want to do is want to go over to our collision as well and then what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be scrolling down until we see event begin actor on overlap and i'm going to click on this plus icon now once we generate the begin overlap what we want to do is we want to drag off from other actor and we're going to be casting to our cube and then once we cast to our cube we're going to be dragging off as cube and we're going to get a reference to our cube mesh And then once I get a reference to my cube mesh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be dragging off and I'm going to type in set hidden in game. So now what set hidden in game is basically if I go back over to my cube and I click on the little static mesh right here and we go down to rezzering, you can see that if I go and play my game, my cube is currently in the world right now because set hidden in game is set to false. But if I click this to true and I play the game, you'll see that the cube is actually false and it's not spawning into the world. Now, real quick, what visible is basically it's allowing to see the uh, cube inside of the inspector. So if I click on false, you're not going to see the cube inside of the inspector as well. If I go to the world, you're not going to see the cube as well. But you can see that the cube still has the collision box because that is still visible. You're just not going to see the static mesh. So so that's basically the difference between hidden in game and visible if you have visible set to true you'll see it inside of the specter if you don't you won't see it inside of the specter if you click hidden in the game you won't see it inside of the game now going back to our third person character what i'm gonna do i'm actually just gonna go ahead and drag this in and then i'm just set set hidden to tr is true so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna drag off cube and i'm gonna be typing in set collision now what this is going to call, this is going to call set collision enable and this is basically going to say that our cube is going to have no collision once our character walks inside of the cube. Now you can see now that once I walk inside of the cube, the cube is no longer there. Now how you guys respawn the cube back inside of the game is what you want to do is basically offset collision enable. We're going to be getting a delay. And then what I'm going to do right here is basically from the delay, I'm going to set it to 0.7 seconds. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this function and I'm going to paste it over here and then connect it to our delay. And I'm going to make sure from the target, I'm going to drag it off and connect it back to the cube. And then I'm going to make sure that I turn new hidden and set it to false because this is going to make sure it's not hidden back in game. Now, if I play the game and I go over here and I run into the cube, you guys will notice that after 0.7 seconds, the cube actually spawns back. So that's how you hide a cube using collision. Now, if you guys found this tutorial very useful, make sure you guys like the video as well as subscribe to the channel and turn on all your notifications for more game dev tutorials. And I'll see you guys.